biodiversity is the variety of life on Earth. And it's sort of all things environmental that are required to maintain healthy eco environments and biological environments. So 2010 was the International Year of Biodiversity, and that was a United Nations campaign designed to raise awareness of the importance of biodiversity through activities and events. Also in 2010, the United Nations named Pittsburgh the North American host city of World Environment Day. And World Environment Day comprised a series of events intended to uh, raise awareness of environmental issues locally and globally. So in order to continue the momentum created by these two distinctions, the Pittsburgh Foundation partnered with the Sprout Fund to energize a grassroots response, and that effort became known as the Spring Program. In late 2010, $190,000 was invested in 20 biodiversity projects. Six projects received $20,000 of support, and another 14 projects received $5,000 awards. So to launch the program, Sprout hosted the 2010 Biodiversity Symposium. We got more than 100 people in the room to engage in a process of sort of learning from local environmental experts and also introducing to them the opportunity of the funding that we had available through the spring program. We held an award ceremony at the end of 2010 where we were able to get all the funded projects together and announce them to the community. And, uh, it was great uh, not only to be able to award that funding, but also to see the fact that partnerships were also sort of beginning at that event. So we really began to create a, a small community of environmentalists here in Pittsburgh. Recently, over the past couple of decades, through sort of larger greening and health efforts, um, Pittsburgh's biodiversity has been improving. And I think the Spring Project was really focused on ways in which neighborhoods and sort of small communities could come up with ingenious ways to help preserve their own neighborhoods. And I think that's what we saw at the end of the day was 20 different projects that really tackled biodiversity. And it's a pretty diverse topic area. And um, we definitely saw people coming at it in a different set of ways. So the small projects I think made an impact to sort of raising awareness within communities and at the neighborhood level. And then the aggregate effect of doing 20 of those things is something that begins to be noticed. Vacant land is a big problem, uh, and it's one that's especially prevalent here in, in Pittsburgh. And one way that folks have been dealing with revitalizing that is through planting different sort of crops. And in doing that, they're helping to remediate the soil um, and bringing that land back to a place where it's uh, in a healthier state. Garfield Community Farm is creating a bio-shelter and food system center, um, essentially a greenhouse structure that's designed to extend the growing season. Um, so they're working in a relatively impoverished community and repurposing vacant urban land. Um, they were able to um, garner some space in the Garfield neighborhood of Pittsburgh and have been working to cultivate that land. Tree Pittsburgh is um, an organization here in the city that is stewarding the urban tree population. Sometimes that means planting new trees, other times that means preserving trees that are in danger. Part of Tree Pittsburgh's mission is to um, educate folks and train pretenders. And so they do pruning workshops throughout the year. The project we supported uh, was a community tree nursery to help with local reforestation and ecosystem restoration efforts. And additionally, all of that also helps to sort of raise awareness about local issues related to trees and their importance in city environments. There was definitely a focus on raising awareness of biodiversity. And so a lot of the projects did end up having an educational component, or if not explicitly educational, definitely an outreach component. East Liberty Development is a fantastic community development organization that's been around Pittsburgh for a number of years. And we supported them to do a Green Roofs for Bus Shelters project. And so many people sort of hear about Green Roofs or might be wondering about Green Roofs, but because they're roofs, most people don't see them. Their idea was to plop one on top of a bus shelter in the middle of a busy urban space and also sort of encase the bus shelter with signage and information about biodiversity and green roofs. So to celebrate the accomplishments of the funded projects, Sprout hosted a biodiversity festival in September of 2011. We see projects uh, like the ones we supported and programs like Spring as a great vehicle for people to be able to be involved in their community, involved in issues they care about, 
Um, and overall, I think that creates an aggregate effect of people recognizing and noticing the good work that's happening here. And people outside of the region are beginning to notice that. You know, we work at the, at the neighborhood level and the community level, and thousands of people were engaged in environmental work. And so the, the beauty of it is that, well, our support, um, our support is catalytic, truly, in that those projects, many of which are still occurring today, will sort of continue. Now, our hope is in that in five years, some of the projects that we helped start in 2010 are, are still out in the world working and um, accomplishing what they set out to do. Um, and I think we're seeing more and more people get involved in environmental issues and in biodiversity issues and hopefully spring uh, truly was a catalyst for that in a, in a small way. And hopefully the community of environmentalists in Pittsburgh um, will continue to grow and establish itself in the coming years.